In the U.S., the thought of January 1st may bring fond memories of the Times Square ball drop, eating 12 grapes, or making New Year's resolutions. But for many people on the other side of the world, these traditions are unfamiliar. Furthermore, January 1st is not celebrated much at all. Many countries utilized a lunar calendar for thousands of years, long before adopting the Gregorian solar calendar. China, Korea, Vietnam, Malaysia, and other countries continue to celebrate the new year based on the lunar calendar during a holiday called Lunar New Year. It is celebrated on the second new moon after the winter solstice, which is usually in late January to late February. Today, I will discuss Lunar New Year and its traditions in China. One important aspect of Lunar New Year is the Chinese Zodiac. Chinese Zodiacs are based on your birth year. Each year is represented by one of 12 Zodiac animals. Once all animals have been cycled through, the cycle restarts. Legend has it that the order for these animals were decided in a race held by the Jade Emperor. The animals had to cross a river to finish. Rat was too small to swim and rode on Ox's back to the other side, but before Ox could make it across, Rat jumped off of Ox's back. Thus, Rat came in first and Ox came in second. Tiger was strong and came in third. Rabbit nimbly hopped across the river's rocks, earning fourth place. Although Dragon could have flown, she stopped to help some creatures and finished in fifth. Horse then crossed the river, but was startled by Snake. Snake came in sixth, and Horse in seventh place. Goat, Monkey, and Rooster created a raft and worked together to get across the river. Goat came in eighth, Monkey ninth, and Rooster tenth. Dog took his time to enjoy the water, coming in eleventh. After eating and taking a long nap, the pig finished in twelfth place. As such, the lunar calendar was made. Zodiacs are also connected to elements. The five elements are wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Each element can be either yin or yang. I encourage you to learn about your own Chinese zodiac. Now I will tell you about some common Chinese Lunar New Year traditions. There are many popular foods eaten during this time. Dumplings are eaten for wealth and good fortune. This is because Chinese gold and silver ingots are in a similar shape to these dumplings. Yin gao is a type of glutinous rice cake. The word in Chinese is a homophone for higher year. So as you eat yin gao, your year will be better and more prosperous. Eating and displaying oranges is also thought to be lucky. Orange in Chinese is a homophone for success. Longevity noodles are commonly eaten in northern China. They get their name because of their length. The longer noodle is thought to bring a longer life. Tangyuan are round, chewy balls with delicious fillings. These are eaten in southern China to celebrate reunion. Fish, spring rolls, and whole chickens are also more examples of staple New Year's foods. There are also many activities to do during Chinese New Year. One of my favorite family traditions is giving and receiving red envelopes. These are called hongbao. Within these red envelopes is money called ya sui qian. This money symbolizes wishes for good luck. Chinese people also decorate their houses with red. Red is the color of fortune and joy and is thought to ward off evil spirits. Gold is a secondary color for the celebration, as it also represents fortune and wealth. Lanterns, banners, and paper decorations will feature these colors. Lion and dragon dances are also popular during this time. Fireworks and firecrackers are also set off at midnight in hopes of warding away evil. So now you know some of the Lunar New Year traditions in China. I hope that you've learned from this that China is an extremely diverse country with many different traditions within its culture. And in the larger scope of Lunar New Year, other countries have their own unique traditions too. There's so much to learn about the world. Happy Year of the Dragon!